Alright, the camera just stopped last time. Okay, now I know what I'm talking about in this video. Come here, boy. What are you barking at? Come here. Oh, well, fuck it. So, um, here's the deal. Now, we had this big old feast yesterday. I'm not going to say what day it was. But, um, you know, everything's cool. And we have a multi-ethnical congregation, whatever you want to say. A lot of people here. Um, why the fuck was these people talking about Obama like he going to save a motherfucker? Obama is not God. I'm sorry. A lot of people out there think Obama can walk across oil slicks and shit without, you know, getting his shoes oily. I don't know. But I know one thing. As the President of the United States of America, you do not have that much fucking power to just go ahead and change the world. And if you do, and all these presidents have had the power in the past to do whatever they want to and change the world, how come no president ever, ever, ever gave the people anything? Now, understand what I'm saying. No president has ever gave the people anything. So, Obama is the president elect. Look, Obama lowered the prices of gas. Obama ain't the fucking president. Obama didn't lower the prices of gas. The prices of gas were lowered so you can go fucking Christmas shopping. That didn't have no. Obama went and talked to the president and they lowered the price of gas. <laughs> if the president could have lowered the price of gas all this goddamn time, why'd he fucking wait for Obama to come talk to him? Bullshit. I'm tired of the perception that just because this man is black, where he said, I bet you can ask anybody in America to point out the 44th president on a damn calendar and then point him out. Oh, I said something yesterday. It make no sense. And I'm like, is Obama really the 44th president? You sure he ain't some other number? You sure he's not? You sure he's not the the 42? <laughs> what about when people get two terms? Does that count as one presidency or two presidency? I don't know. I, I asked this stupid question last night, and, and his girlfriend put me in. It's, it's one. It's Kathy's one. <laughs> okay, shit, that's cool. We needed somebody white to tell us it was only one. Because I was about to say, Obama's the 49th president or some shit. I don't know. I was wrong. I was right. It was a big old jumble fuck. <laughs> but they're looking at Obama like Obama's God. Obama can just do this. Obama can just do that. Obama can do this, do this. Okay, Obama. If Obama's all that, I want Obama to go to these banks. I want Obama to tell them, you know what? My people of America are not going to pay on your interest that gets them nowhere. I tried to point out to my brother-in-law. Interest is what's killing people. Interest. What do you mean? I'm like, if you bought $100,000, ah, ha, ha, me bought $100,000 from you, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You can't talk to certain niggas. I said it. Not every black person nigger. Not every white guy is a nigger hater. That this is not that, whatever. But when you come off like one person is going to change all your fucking bad comings, one person is going to change the whole world, when you come off like the only hope we got is Obama, you have to understand one thing. Obama got this job because the American people thought he was an honest change. <laughs> Actually, and, and a lot of people hate me for this, I truly believe that Obama... It's just like these other people. And it's not the fact, oh, he's a black guy, you just hating on black people. Come on, why the hell should I hate on a black man who got a damn job? That's stupid. <laughs> why should I, I'm not hating on Obama, I'm just trying to say Obama can't do all that people think he's gonna do because they're trying to make this guy mythological. He's not mythological when you can fucking see him. <laughs> you know, he's not this magical entity Floated down to be the savior of all humanity. He's a damn man in a fucking suit. And the fact that he's black brings me to one conclusion. America doesn't care who the manager is anymore. And that's the bottom line. If you're going to toe the line for the team or not. And apparently he can, so he probably will. Just because he's black do not mean he's going to be different than any other president in the United States. When is the president of the United States freed the people <coughs> from debt? 
debt is the master of the new slavery. You don't want people to be slaves no more. You know what? Interest is what's killing people. I'm sorry, not debt. Not debt. Debt don't kill you. It's the interest on your debt that kills you. The fact that you can borrow $110,000 and by the time you pay it back it's $340,000 is fucking insane. <laughs> that is insane. If you loan someone $1,000, of course you need to get something for your money. Of course. Of course somebody gonna want something. A thousand dollars should get you twelve hundred dollars all day. But that's a fucked up interest rate, ain't it? Ain't it? So you borrow that thousand dollars and you stretch that shit out. You borrow a thousand dollars, it takes ten years to pay back. How much money have you paid back at two percent interest? Think about it. If the President of the United States got any power, kill interest. Kill the interest rate. No more interest rate. Put a flat fee. If you borrow a dollar, you owe a dollar point three cents. You know what I mean? You borrow two dollars, that's point six cents. So on and so forth. So when you get to six hundred thousand dollars for that house, you got to know automatically that you have to pay back six thousand dollars. 600, well, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm tired of people looking at Obama like he's going to bring forth some great change. If you stop interest, cut, kill interest, and charge per, a per fee. Per fee. Pay a fee per dollar. Stop interest. You give somebody a number. You walk in there, I'd like to have a loan for $5,600 because this is what happened to me. I want to buy a 1992 Chrysler LeBaron, clean, top, top, red, flashy. Of course, it was 95 when I got the 92. Actually, it was like 2000. <laughs> so, you know, and I'm making my payments. Then I got this insurance from the company. They had an insurance. The insurance says, if I get laid off, fired, they would pay my car payment up to six months. This is all based upon the loan. It's all in the loan I got. I'm like, damn, pay my shit for six months? <laughs> shit, I'm with it. Extra $2 a month, I paid it. Get laid off. I think nothing of it. Call them, hey, I'm laid off. Start kicking in them payments. <laughs> Did you apply for unemployment? I'm laid off and I'm looking for a job, ma'am. They didn't want to honor their own contract because I didn't apply for unemployment the day I was laid off. In other words, if I had read the goddamn contract, I had 24 hours after I was laid off to apply for unemployment in order for them to pay my car payment for six months. How many people get laid off and apply for unemployment that same day. I'm laid off, shit. Unemployment, you there? Come on to the house. Yeah, I'm ready. Unemployment don't work like that. Getting laid off don't work like that. You gotta look for a job first. Unemployment's the dole. You don't wanna get that to the left. I'm hungry, it's not your food, nothing. Nothing to live for. Oh, I got unemployment coming. I'll live for another few months. <laughs> but Obama's not God. He can only do so much, and he started off with no money. No money, because they've given all the money to the banks. I had an argument last night with the brother-in-law over if they gave the American people the money. Then my other brother-in-law was talking about the RFI chip. What about them chips they're talking about? I'm like, if the United States of America really want to follow us around, if the United States of America really want to keep tabs on you, if the United States of America want to free you, they would give you $350,000. And understand what I say, because I only got like 30 seconds to say this. They give you $350,000 on an American ID card. The ID card has the RFI chip in it so they can find your ass. They have your money on the card that the government gave you. They could track you and know where you spent your money that they gave you. They shouldn't have to give you anything more than one time. Because they need to restart our economy every at least 100 years to make sure shit is fair. But I'm someone who don't know shit. And as long as I don't know shit, you've been too.